bros, it's JKS here. Welcome back. So I found something when I tried to load up this game before. If you're at the start screen and you hit continue, it actually starts from the autosave, not from your slot. How I found this out is because I wanted to talk with the alchemist, but it played it through as if I was playing it like I visit her for the first time. So let's, let's double check this. Alchemist lab? Yeah, see, before it was grayed out, now it's in color. Okay, so that's something just keep in mind. If you're going to hit the continue button, it's going to pull you out of the last autosave, and then you have to go back to the main menu and then load up your last normal save. I wonder if there's a way to uh, switch that in the engine, in the game code, so it just loads up the last thing you saved. Like, let's go back to that real quick. And also I found out you can just hit these twice in a row, instead of having to hit go. So instead of, see, this was at 3.58 a.m., this is 4.18 a.m. Instead of loading this up, since it's the last auto, it would load up the last thing that was saved. That'd be kind of nice. But, anyways. So, I'm trying to talk with everybody. Lookout point, of course, has nobody. Off this lab, I'll go there. Blind dolphins! Don't speak up on me like that. Flying dolphins! Oh my god, what are you doing? Are you, like, trying to touch me? Neptune's fury! Uh, okay, I want to see what she was before this happened. To her hair. Huh? What's going on here? Hey! Why isn't it showing her character? See you around. That's Flying weird. dolphins! Yeah, don't s sniff her. Interesting, she's not showing up here. Huh. See you around. She's not showing up either. That's some sort of bug. Always open. Jewels flying oh, dolphins. Okay, I'm gonna see leave. Around. See if that fixes something. Flying dolphins. No, okay. See around. Hold on, guys. I'm kind of keep this in because it's important for the developers to see that there's some sort of weird bug in the game. I'm gonna see if I can like load the game. Let's see if that'll fix it. Dolphins. No, okay guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart the game real quick. Okay, here we go. So I figured out the bug pretty much, I think, when I had booted up the first time and I realized that it had loaded up the autosave. I exited in the middle of the scene where I was meeting the alchemist, even though I'd already seen it. I was like, I'll just exit the game and reload. It must have created an issue in the coding or something. Or, not the coding, but like... Coding does yes or no, and since I was halfway through and I didn't finish the scene, it probably messed it up. Now I reloaded it, went, did the intro scene again, and then up, uh, loaded up again my manual save. Voila, they're talking again. Flying with all the pictures. Dolphins. With all them present. Oh my god, what are you doing? You're like trying to touch Neptune me. Neptune Fury! See around. Not quite. Nasty business. That was when they brought Captain Brea back from the meeting with the Goblin King. You had to use practically all of your our reserve blood supply in order to restore her. <laughs> we haven't seen a wound that severe since. Yes. <laughs> Fragile mortals, it's a marvel how your species is an extinct yet. I like how the eye pops up. <laughs> I could cut you both down without even breaking a sweat. <laughs> oh, shut up! So talk like that is why you're not allowed to hold the scapels anymore. Wonder who made her. If you don't play nice today, I'll cancel putting. Pudding? Oh, I'm furious! You wouldn't dare. Not while it's strawberry seed. Ooh, not cool. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. I will if you keep embarrassing me. <laughs> it's not every day a specimen walks into our laboratory so willingly. Oops, actually skips line. Now we're talking about the sword captain. Rare, are Yes, yes. But she may be severely lacking intelligence or courage is a marvel. By our calculation, <laughs> she, she must have had oh, yes. courage. Rivaling Sir Quintus. Ooh, the first name drop. Or the commander. 
Such an injury was beyond our ability to repair. Not quite. Physically, physical abnor abnormalities have obvious symptoms which one can analyze and come to a logical solution. Not only can physical ailments be solved logically, but there is the added benefit of consistency. Solutions can be repeated. Mm -hmm. Prick your finger, By put a bandage on it. Lose a leg, oh, yes. reattach it. Step on a coastal ring toad. Stand upside down and hold your breath for one minute. Science makes sense. Correct. Human soul, however, does not. We managed to save her life and repair her body, but it seems the injury is not what hurts her. So it's interesting that I asked Bria about her injury, and she just lowered her relationship with me. I'm talking to the alchemist. She's just telling me everything. Not quite. Although, it has been some time since we've been able to observe her. Perhaps she's recovering? You've met the sword instructor. How's she doing? Outstanding. We had feared the emotional damage was beyond repair, but that's fantastic news. <laughs> By our calculations. Our research into human yes. psyche is rather limited, but we've had some interesting results. Especially when it comes to influence. Correct. People are highly susceptible to the opinions and moods of other people they come into contact with. If our research is correct, Captain Bria has been I like how she's called Captain. Interesting. I didn't notice this either. That's cool too. Captain Bria has been talking with soldiers that view her positively. Exciting, isn't it? Positive influence refracted amongst the other soldiers could be the edge we need for the final battle. Mm -hmm. We'll need By to run calculations. more calculations and construct mm, yes. a method for observation, but this could work. Our doors always open. Last time I found that this egg could be cracked. Interesting. Okay, North Tower. I think I've already talked to the sheep, but five sheep, six sheep, seven. Hi. Sorry, Apprentice, I'm yawn too tired to talk right now. You can come back after taking a nap. Don't tell anyone you saw Okay. Oh, hey, not sure. Wish I could chat, around. but I'm busy doing the whole instructor thing. Come find me later today, okay? Till next time, Apprentice. If I remember correctly, most of these people won't talk to me again. Oh. Hey. I didn't see you with all this hair in my eyes. So lame. Can you not interrupt me? I'm having a moment of genius with my poetry. Aw, uh, let me listen to your poetry. Yeah, whatever. Okay, mage tower. Oh yeah, she doesn't talk, that's right. The girl appears to be mumbling to herself but remains intently focused on the chalkboard. <laughs> Prison tower. North Yard, Archmage. Okay, let's look at the wolf. Hey, sniff sniff you smoke for human. No way! I can't play or talk right now. <laughs> Come back after Okay, so. <laughs> well, if it isn't Durndal's special boy. I'll see oh, you. Oh, wait, hold <laughs> on. Maybe if you're not so right annoying, annoying, I'll train you again tomorrow. Even if I could, huh? you're annoying me. I'll see you. So she can't... Oh, yeah, that's right. It's updated. I have two actions left. So I must have talked to everybody then. Well, I'll do it real quick. I've already gone through most of them. And then I'll do two normal jobs. Cinderguard, fire is with you or against you. Or is with or against you. The time Hello there. For us I hope you're having a magical day, coming. Princess. I don't know you about dear that. I really shouldn't be talking about Wonderful. Happy, though. Okay. Stay happy and magical. Stay happy and magical. When the little witch first approached me, I would have thought she'd want candy or chocolate. A witch? Interesting. So when she asked for a long leaf, I told her she was too young to be smoking. <laughs> when she explained she was buying it for her master, we had a good laugh. I wonder if she's talking about um, the mage instructor. The surprised expression on her face when I chided her, priceless. Certainly. She seemed like a good kid, so I proceeded with the transaction. Being Durandal's apprentice, you're familiar with Sunny, correct? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I she's wonder. A good egg, right? Oh, I don't trust her. I don't talk to her. I just say sweet. I try to talk to her, but she doesn't talk to me. 
trip. I knew she was a nice kid. Having met so many people through my job, I consider myself an excellent judge of Certainly. character. Thank you for confirming that for me. Next time she buys something, I'll be sure to give her a discount for being cute and sweet. I wish we I don't know. could talk more, but I should go back to work. This food isn't going to ration itself after all. Oh, so she's in charge of the rations. Interesting. You know, you're my favorite customer though, right? Oh, I did too cool. Thank you! Please come again! The dog guard tilts her head inquisitively as waiting for you to say something. Oh, you know that feeling you get with like, mm, nails on a chalkboard? I get the same thing when I hear like charcoal or chalk. Oh, shivers. Huh. She quickly turns open a fresh page in her scroll pad and begins to scribble. Hi, nice to see you again. Hope your training's going well. It must be nice to break a sweat, huh? I'm not that great with my labor-intensive jobs, so that's why I'm in this post. Be funny if she was, like, the mailman. The alchemist actually created me to assist in her lab. Oh, but said I wasn't intelligent enough to keep it. After that, I was sent to assist Durandal in the Mage Tower. Those were a strange couple days, but eventually he, ha he fired me as well. Huh, my figure was too distracting for him, apparently. Hmm. I like this backstory. I thought the alchemist did a fine job crafting my body, but I guess his standards are unusually high. In the castle guard is fun, though. I get to watch everyone pass by the lower courtyard. Seven. Is that like some? That must must be some sort of. I'm not familiar with this emote. So you're not a real guard? No, she's a real guard. Sounds like fun. She quickly turns open a fresh page on her scroll pad and begins to scribble. Yes, and as long as I stand, I will make sure this castle is safe. No one can get away from my hyper focus long stare. Nice morale's going up. Oh, sorry, I can't talk right now. The first guy might come around and I don't want to get in trouble. Very well. Everything in order, Apprentice? Unacceptable. I've received just about every kind of report you can imagine about that mischievous conjure, and then some. <sighs> Breaking into bed chambers in the night, stealing undergarments, peeping, the list goes on every time. See, I was right, he's a little pervy. She didn't like it, but she understands. Every time I get close to catching him in the act or assembling any proof, he somehow slips through my grasp. Unacceptable. One time, the archery instructor found him in her chambers, and I was able to get him there in time. His excuse for being there was an obvious lie, but the commander immediately took his side. That can't be right. No one is above the law. If I had it my way, it would have been to the prison tower and nothing but bread and water for a week mm. that would teach him to keep his paws himself you should get him back what if he was helping maybe what as in do something sneaky oh that's what that meant oh <laughs> or take the law into my own hands unacceptable that is simply unacceptable i would never oh dang it shame on you for suggesting such a rotten idea shame no that's not, I didn't know, that's what that's, an order. that's enough questions for today, I have other duties. Okay, let's see Stay if I touch it. Trouble. Is there clickable stuff around here? Apprentice. Whew, she didn't get mad at me for approaching her. Hello, Angeline. Yes. I must consider. Well, I have faith in Durandal's instruction. The nature of his departure remains a mystery. Do you know the nature of the urgent job? Yes. I have no time for games. She doesn't believe me. War is not a laugh. That will be all. You must excuse me now. Her morale went down for telling her the truth? Oh boy. Okay. You believe what you want to believe. Forgive me. It is not that I wish to cut our conversation. I forward. must I consider. I do not have the time for pleasure. So war is coming. Oh. Farewell. Hi, Hi, Sailor. Nice, Everyone I. keeps asking me if I saw the wizard leaving. Truth be told, I have no idea that he what he looks like, though. Hi, I. The only time I ever laid eyes on him was during his visit to Atlantis, when I was just a pop. Interesting. I love the world building. And you see, when he was visiting, he was in f the form of a lion. What? He was in the form of a lionfish. He was pretty small. I. It's kind of weird when everyone talks about him, because I can only picture him as a fish. He's still very magical. Yo -ho -ho! So he can shapeshift to impress King Neptune. This is so cool. So Cinder believes in the pot of fire or something like that. And she has King Neptune in Atlantis. He turned the water around the city from shades of blue to shades of green. It was quite the awesome experience until the wizard tried to change it back. Aye. Perhaps he made a mistake because he 
He was never able to turn it back. Wow. After a few hours, the green water mixed with the surrounding blue water, so now the entire ocean is blue-green. Nay, nice says I! Really? The water looks blue over here. It was too little to remember the blue water, so I don't remember my... King Neptune is still angry with the magician, though, till this day, and has banished him till he can change it back. Algae makes the water green. Nay, nice says I! Are you calling I. me a liar? Leave ye science and logic a... Sure, where they belong. The girls raise their teeth, chomp into your farm. <gasps> like a sneeze or a cough for you and me. This, this bit seem more of a nervous. It should be bite. This bit it should be bite. Like a sneeze or a cough for you and me. This bite seemed more of a nervous twitch than a full-on attack. It doesn't mean it didn't hurt though. Ouch. me. Sorry, didn't. Did I get you there? Shark guy wipes blood from her lips and licks it. Her morale didn't go down, but she straight up bit me. Oh man, you! What like would you name. like? I suppose I have a moment. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Great Wizard's Apprentice, kind of stunning tone. Tell me, how do you live every day looking like Obviously. that? Obviously. Obviously, have zero appreciation for finger things. Perhaps you just look poor. Do you not have access to the hairdresser in the farm? As if. That wizard's not the most well-dressed fellow, night. But I guess birds of the same feather flock hmm. together. Though I'm a bit of surprised that you weren't invited to this little adventure. I heard somewhere that his urgent job is the white tunic contest. Is that true, farm boy? He has a good As if. Right, I'm supposed to believe that. I'll bet you she's gonna go down, dang it. Move along, farm boy, I don't have time hmm. for this. I'm so very... I'm so over everyone in this castle. You two are like the most suspicious characters. Who disappears in the middle of a war declaration? My advice is to never believe whatever the wizard says. Hmm. He'll just be disappointed, trust me. Oh, hers didn't change either. As if. Tis, tis, apprentice, you should know it's not intelligent to hound a fox. I see what you did there. Run along now. Bye bye now. Hey, sugar. Woohoo! Commander's ice powers sure are fantastic, aren't they? Oh. I heard she snuck into the mage tower as a child who's a bit hit by a misspell. Dirndal managed to save her, but after that, she was never quite the same. So that misspell being hit by Durndal. So on the Patreon, this is a cool story. They ask us from time to time to help with the lore and stuff. And I remember when people were submitting ideas for how she got her ice powers. So I think what they're going to do is they won't tell us right off the bat what the truth is. And so each of the guards will give you different versions of it. That's pretty cool. I reckon the commander was always a little cold, personality-wise, but this took it to a whole new level. The way I heard it, she nearly froze half the castle before she learned to control it. <laughs> now these are just stories, mind you, but looking at the ocean side of the prison tower, it's not hard to believe to You've seen the commander's ice power in action, haven't you? She's something, ain't she? Oh, ice melts. She's cooler than ice. <laughs> Tee hee, cooler than ice. That's rich. You are pretty clever, aren't you? You're pretty clever, aren't you, Apprentice? I might have to tell the other guards that line. It's a good one. Oh, and then don't worry. I'll be sure to tell them that you came up with it. Funny guard seems inspired by your conversation with her. <gasps> Yay! Oh. Sorry there, Sugar. The first guard could be coming around any minute. If you catch me talking on duty again, I'll be in real <laughs> trouble. That doesn't mean you're allowed to forget about me, though. It'll be free some other time. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Okay, I think I've almost talked to everybody. Really want to go down to the boat docks, that'd be cool. Hail! Hail, Apprentice. Not on my watch! Goblins not live under bridges where you come from? I can't imagine a world without goblins or trolls living under bridges. Aye. Pay them no mind. They've been through enough. Those raiders that tried to sabotage the gate on your arrival gave them quite a whop. They aren't the most polite, but they keep trash and debris out of the castle moat. Interesting. Aye. So she is sympathetic to goblins, interesting. Aye, they'd be doing a good job indeed. Now if I could just get them to stop making off with the new shiny nails we're using to reinforce the gate. <laughs> Not on my watch. Can't talk now, Apprentice. I thought I heard something earlier and I have to try to be vigilant. Which it turns out to be nothing, but I have to be careful in these times. Today. Greetings. Greetings. The hidden force is a mysterious and wonderful place. Of course. I'm afraid I need to focus on my patrol, so I'll chat with you later. Okay. May your antlers grow strong. Okay, so now let's do a job. I want to get better with the 
goth guard. Oh, hey. So lame. I reported the broken locks to the first guard, but she just told me to fix them myself or something. But how am I supposed to... Sorry, I'm reading too excited. How am I supposed to fix the broken locks if I can't even fix the broken lock around my soul? Not totally lame. If you were a goth like me, you would understand. I'll tell you what, if you fix the broken locks for me, I'll tell you a secret. Except in this job will raise your intelligence. Huh. Wicked. Wicked. I'm having a creative moment right now, so I need focus on my poetry. So I need focus on my poetry. So I need focus or I need to focus? But it could be debatable how to write that line. Ooh, I got some keys. You have obtained prison keys. One, two, three, four. Here are the prison keys. They're labeled for each cell. Good luck fixing the broken locks or whatever. Does that mean if I ever get stuck in prison, I can unlock it? That'd be interesting, Subby. You're thinking about death. Even though I got fired, I still learned basic lock maintenance during my locksmith apprentice. This is so cool. I might be able to fix these broken locks. You begin your inspection and soon realize there is nothing wrong with the locks. The locks are fine, it's just that the prison keys are out of order with the cell numbers. Usually arrange the prison keys in the correct order. Report your findings to the goth guard. Like walking to a silk spider web, the goth guard ambushes you with one of her poems. So lame. I am discontent. I am torment. If you don't get me, then just get bent. <laughs> Wicked. Good devils, I'm a genius. This has to be my best work yet. Looking up and praising herself, the goth guard notices oh. you. Oh, hey. Oh, it's you. You ever figure out that broken locks thing? Not that it matters to me. Also, what's cool is on Patreon, they give us the opportunity to submit, like, um, her poems and stuff. We'll see if any of them uh, make it in. But I really like how they're, um, getting the community involved. You proceed to explain that the locks were broken. They were just so organized. Lame. I don't understand anything you just said, but you fixed it, right? You're pretty smart, huh? That's actually kind of not hard. totally lame. Maybe I should tell you that secret. Don't tell anyone, though. All right? I could get in big trouble if the first guard finds out you heard this from me. As the girl leans in close, you prepare your ears for some juicy new information. Word on the path is there's a traitor in the castle. Surprise, surprise. All of a sudden, you feel teeth bite into your earlobe. Ouch! Ouch. <laughs> goth guard Wicked. licks a bit of blood off her lips. Okay, so the shark guard and the goth guard are mildly vamp. Mmm, pain feels good, doesn't it? Want me to tie you up and read my poetry to you? One of your legs takes a step backward as if instinctually sensing danger. <laughs> Ooh. So lame. Can you not interrupt me? I'm having a moment of genius with my poetry. Yeah, so interesting. Whatever. Another normal job with but one thing left. Okay, there was someone else who had a normal job. Was it? Blind yeah. dolphins. No. Oh, so it's normal jobs and gather See jobs. Around. Interesting. And then there's urgent jobs. Um. So then there's archery range. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Okay, let me do one more action and then I'll call this episode real quick. Okay, someone else had an urgent job now. Bye bye now. Someone had one within the lower court. Oh, there we go. She quickly turns open a fresh page with her scroll pad and begins to scribble. I love drawing, but my quill pen is almost done. Uh, can you find a new one for me? Please, please, please. The other jobs require key items found elsewhere in the castle. Interesting. The job will raise your courage. Sure. There's got to. There's got to be somewhere in this castle I can find a quill pen. Very well. That's an order. Stay so out of trouble. Maybe it's not necessarily... Huh, so... Greetings. Okay, May so... May your antlers grow strong. Is there a... Where would I get coal? The mage tower. There's an 
thing to interact. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Girl appears to be mumbling herself. Marines intently focus on the chalkboard. <laughs> ah, that was cool. That was shining. You have obtained cool pen. To bring this to the dog art. Was that there the whole time? I just didn't notice it. Wow. That's freaking everywhere except there. That was cool. Um. Rogar drops her shield and lands with a clang and grabs the coal pen from your hands. Very carefully, she begins inspecting the coal pen. Did I get her the wrong one? They all look the same. Her doubts are dispelled when she jumps up in the air. What you can only assume is a victory I trust pose. Everything is in order. What's going on here? Girl, why is your equipment on the ground? Unacceptable. Rogar bows several times with apologies. She scrambles to collect her equipment. She struggles with the weight of the lance and shield. The doll's guard's scroll pad falls to the ground. Mm. Here, you've dropped your silly message book. Her pad having landed in an open position, you catch a glimpse of some of Doll Guard's drawings. Mm. She's been drawing on duty, hey? The first guard face turns red as she goes quiet for a second. What? Wait, these are drawings of. This guard looks at the Doll Guard and then at you and then back at the Doll Guard. Unacceptable! I'm confiscating this material and uh, leaving you with a warning. Well, look. Who do you think she'd be drawing? Hmm. Any of you two are to tell anyone about this. The Doll Guard is holding her head down as if ashamed of herself. She leaned in close and gives you a kiss on the cheek before returning to her post. Ah, oh, the end of a day. Okay, let's... Save. Excellent. Can I just do that? Okay, so maybe... Okay, so if I save in the auto position, then it'll it'll uh, continue from there. The, the slate. Okay. Well, bros, I'm going to stop it right there, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.